Hundreds of athletes from across the state are in Mays this weekend. The Special Olympics Kansas Summer Games begin today. KSN's Mally Jones joins us in the studio. Mally, you got to talk with some of the athletes. Yeah, that's right. This is the big event for summer for the uh, Special Olympics, and it showcases the talents of athletes across the state who have intellectual disabilities. Athletes can compete in a variety of sports, including track and field, bocce, soccer, and tennis. Abigail Griswold has been participating in Special Olympics for 14 years and will be participating in seven events this year. She says Special Olympics is a time for her to see old friends and make new ones. At first, I was a shy, person I don't like I didn't like talking to new people once I got into Special Olympics it got me out of my shell so now I have so many friends I have so t I have a lot of medals and ribbons this event kicks off today and goes through Sunday there are also a few new things to look forward to this year more on that story coming up at 5 30. here for you Mally Jones KSN News 3. Athletes from across the state are in Mays this weekend. Yeah Special Olympics Kansas kicks off its summer games today KSN's Mally Jones is live in studio and Mally this event brings thousands of people. Yeah that's right in just six hours the stadium is going to be filled with hundreds of athletes competing to see who is the best in the state and I have Chris Burt here with me this morning from Special Olympics and Chris can you tell us what all people can expect this weekend we've got yeah. a filled weekend yeah thanks for having me here uh, so this is our state level competition for soccer bocce tennis and track and field uh, starts today with soccer bocce and tennis Saturday and Sunday is our state track and field competition we serve about 5,000 athletes statewide 1,100 of those approximately will be here uh, in the Wichita area this weekend awesome. um, yeah. Lots of lots of stuff, and there's even a couple of new things happening this year. Is that right? Yeah. Well, the addition of bocce to state competition is new for us this nice. year. Uh, we also have a fan zone, mm -hmm. bringing together some of our sponsors, some of our programs that we do outside of sports, athlete leadership, health, um, unified champion school program, mm -hmm. all coming together this weekend. Awesome. And you also mentioned, you know, lots of different athletes coming this weekend. How is this beneficial for them doing these sports? Yeah, outside of just the health component of it, being active, um, learning skills like leadership, uh, giving them confidence, um, exposing our athletes to the general population so they can see their abilities, um, all those sort of things that they get out of being part of a team. Awesome. Well, thank you, Chris. Looking forward to this weekend. And coming up here in just 30 minutes, we're going to be speaking to one of the athletes and hear more of his story. Eddie, Alexis. Hundreds of athletes from across the state are in Mays this weekend. The Special Olympics Kansas Summer Games begin today. KSN's Mally Jones joins us in studio. Mally, you got to talk to some of the athletes. Yeah, I did. This is the biggest event for the Special Olympics, and it showcases the talents of athletes across the state who have intellectual disabilities. There are about 5,000 athletes across the state with 1,100 competing this weekend. Athletes can compete in a variety of sports including track and field, bocce, soccer, and tennis. Tyler Griswold has been doing Special Olympics for 17 years. This year he is doing the softball throw and bocce. His goal is to become a coach someday. In the meantime, he works on getting better and helping others improve. I like to spend time with coaches and volunteer to talk with them, see what we need to work on and when what the athlete needs, I'm gonna get athletes talk to me and they say I'd say, okay, we need to work on this. This event kicks off today and goes through Sunday. Coming up here in 30 minutes, I'll have a live interview talking a little bit more about how this impacts health for the athletes. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3. Athletes from across the state are in Mays this weekend. Special Olympics Kansas kicks off its summer games today. KSN's Mally Jones joins us in studio. And Mally, this event brings thousands of people. Yeah, in just five hours, the stadium will be filled with hundreds of athletes competing to see who is the best in the state. I have Aaron McDaniel from Special Olympics here with me this morning. And Aaron, you're the health and fitness manager. So can you talk a little bit about how the sports impact their health? Yeah, I mean, it helps a ton, obviously, whenever we get our athletes to be able to compete um, against each other or to be able to do something. Obviously, their fitness and their physical activity is going to go up from there. Um, so 
no, honestly, I think sports is, is the catalyst for their health and fitness, honestly, to be able to get them out, have fun with their friends, be able to meet new friends. Um, so yeah, honestly, the sports is, is the heart of where health and fitness starts for our athletes. Cool, lots of benefits there. Um, and there's also a um, couple of things going on outside of the sporting events. Can you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, so on the health side, we do offer completely free screenings to our athletes and the public. Um, here in Kansas, we do that in six different disciplines. Um, so podiatry, dental, um, it goes on from there into like physical activity or physical therapy and things like that. Um, so yeah, we do those screenings and we screen about 1,500. Um, we're uh, progressing to about 2,000 this next year, free screenings for the entire year. So that's something that we always offer free to our athletes. Awesome, very cool. Well, an exciting weekend ahead. Thank you, Erin. That's gonna kick off today and then go through Sunday.